Hello again, it's great to be with you. I hope you're having a, a great day today. Um, we are working our way through uh, Peter's second letter. Currently we are in uh, chapter 1, right near the end of it, <coughs> looking at verses 16 to 18. And Peter writes this. He says, For we did not follow cleverly devised stories when we told you about the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ in power, but we were eyewitnesses of his majesty. He received honour and glory from God the Father when the voice came to him from the majestic glory, saying, This is my Son, whom I love. With him I am well pleased. We ourselves heard this voice that came from heaven when we were with him on the sacred mountain. You know, one of the great problems we have uh, um, in, in our faith with God in a world that largely doesn't get it, um, is that we can often struggle to be able to share what we know of God in a way that actually makes a difference to people. Peter had the, the great advantage of being one of the few people who knew Jesus really well. He had a personal face-to-face -face relationship with him. He walked with him for three years with um, the other disciples. He'd been trained by him. He'd witnessed the things that Jesus did, and he'd seen the miracles that Jesus had performed. So when Peter came to talk about uh, his faith and the things that he knew, he had a really powerful testimony to share. And that makes a real difference. Real stories carry life that engage others. They captivate us when we hear them because the truth almost always shines through the murk of a world that doesn't understand and lives in blissful ignorance. The thing is that everyone who has faith has a testimony to share. And if you have faith, you can also have some really exciting stories to share. Personally, I have seen people's lives transformed by faith in Jesus. I've seen miracles happen. And as I've shared those stories uh, and the story of my own coming to faith <coughs> with others, I've seen people come to faith for themselves. Testimony, testimony empowered by the Holy Spirit, has real power. So I want to encourage you today to think about your own story, to think about the way that coming to faith has made a difference to you, how it's changed your life. Think about the things that you've seen um, God do and ask, how can I share these things with those who need to know? And then go and do it. And that's an order, by the way. Let's pray. Lord God, would you help each of us to polish the story of our own journeys and to teach us how to use them for your glory. But Lord, as we rub shoulders with each other, bless us with an ability to share uh, those things with others. Grant that we might see miracles and learn more from you. Take us deeper into our relationship with you and make us people of heavenly power for the glory of your kingdom. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a great day.